So a super boss is a leader that helps other people get better. It's actually someone who generates and regenerates talent on a continuous basis and thereby accelerating the careers of all the people that work for them. Super bosses can really push the talent growth button by adopting a variety of different things such as how they hire talent, developing people, I would say even in unusual ways, uh, involving other people in, in, in decision making, uh, a lot of delegation, and uh, raising the bar, you know. And one more thing, they unleash the creativity of people with, that work for them, which is really important. You know, everybody has a contribution. Actually, they're required to come up with new ideas. Super bosses are more mentor like. I actually found three types of super bosses, and one is a little bit like a mentor, but, but it's almost like a mentor on steroids. They don't just um, do kind of the traditional stuff that a mentor will do, but they're always available, they're always on. They could be there two in the morning, they, I mean, just much more intense. The other two types, by the way, were the creative types, iconoclast people like uh, Miles Davis, Ralph Lauren in fashion, like some unusual people. And then uh, the third type are the really tough, hard-driving hard uh, uh, leaders that, uh, uh, that really stand up. People like uh, Larry Ellison uh, in, from Oracle, or actually Tony Ryan for that matter. The key benefit of a, of a super boss a playbook, a super boss mentality, is that it's designed for people that are not going to stay there a long time. It's actually a new way of thinking about leadership because we know that most people are going to stay more and more, it's the case, for a very short period of time. But what do they want? What they want is to learn, to have an impact, to be able to get, make something happen. And actually, if you do that, you create that opportunity, you'll keep them longer than you know, a year or two. You might keep them three or four or five years. So that's beneficial, and they end up learning uh, at the same token. Super bosses attract people because of their vision, because of their ideas, because they inspire people. They don't attract people because there's a big price tag associated with it. Often it comes because these are successful companies. So I would say that these, uh, the world of perks, these are, are side issues that all kind of work out because so many of these super bosses have, have built really successful companies. And if you're part of that, you're going to benefit. But they don't want somebody to come and take a job just for the money. They want you to, they want you to join because you believe in what's, what they're trying to accomplish. Super bosses do push people hard, and it's challenging. And work-life balance, frankly, is a, big, uh, is a big challenge. I think what really happens is that they get integrated. And for the best people that, can, that are comfortable working for a super boss, they make this part of, their own, part of their own life. They're not working eight hours a day, although I don't know who does anymore. And so uh, traditional work-life balance, where you're on the clock for eight hours and you're off, uh, number one, I don't think there are that many jobs like that anymore. Number two, I think the millennial generation doesn't even want that. They want to have an impact, and if they can, they'll work a little bit, a little bit longer. And number three, super bosses won't make that happen. That's not what they're about. The single most important thing any manager could do to become a super boss is to kind of do the mindset uh, shift and say, you know what, there's something else I could be doing here. And I actually, and I should think about my job as someone who helps other people get better. And you're not doing it just because you want to be a nice guy or a nice woman. You actually will be more successful if you surround yourself with great people. So it's, it's really a mindset shift that says, I actually can have an incredible impact on people and it's going to benefit them and it's going to benefit me. And that starts to seep into, into the DNA that you've got and into the culture of the organization. It, it becomes a really big deal. Enjoy this video? Click here to get the latest careers news and advice and find us on social media.